Today I'm going to make a quick video on how to replace your front brakes on a Ram 3500. This truck has the 6.7 Cummings diesel. It's This is a 2017. It, this process here is the same as a 2015. It's probably the same all the way up to 2020. Um, but anyways, I'm going to get right into it. Show you guys what to do. First step. If you don't already know you want to jack the truck up i use jack stands i sit them on the axle one there and one right here they seem to fit in pretty good right there right underneath the uh the coil spring it's like a perfect fit then you obviously want to get your wheel off i usually just work one side at a time the next step you want to open up your reservoir reason why you do this is why you're compressing the caliber uh, you want there to, you know, be relief for the fluid to move. Next step is we're going to want to compress the caliber. You can see these brake pads are pretty low. The caliber pistons are, are basically fully extended. So I work the C-clamp back and forth. Uh, I'll do a little bit on the bottom, a little bit on the top, and I'll just move it back and forth. I wouldn't do one side too much. Um, so then those uh that back pad will get like cocked all right so i got to compress just a little bit there's a little wiggle room in here i'm going to get these the rest of the way after i pull this off so you want to get yourself a block of wood something to place back here maybe a cinder block or something so when I pull this caliber off I could just sit it right here so it's not hanging by these uh, brake lines this is a 5 8 bolt and there's two of them one on the top one on the bottom you can get a ratchet in there you can use a ratchet this top one is kind of blocked by the hose All right, before I put that brake pad on here and fully compress these caliber pistons, I spray this with a little bit of brake cleaner. Now they have two kinds of this. There's basically, one has more cancer and one has less cancer. The less cancer one is the green can, the more cancer one is the red can. I usually try to use the green can, but they both work. Give your caliber bracket a little bit of a spray, especially where they're all gonna sit. So that's how I get this caliber fully compressed. Again, I put the pad in here, C-clamps more in the middle so we don't have to worry about the pistons compressing like cockeyed. Right back there, tighten it up until they're almost flat. You don't gotta, you don't wanna go till they're flat, flat, just pretty far in. Next, you wanna pull both of your uh, pins here. This is just a rubber boot, you see, just that comes right off. I wipe off all this old grease and put new grease on this pin here. I'll do that for the top and the bottom. All right, now it's time to put the new uh, brake pads in. I like to put a little bit of grease on the metal here on the bottom. This is where it slides in the caliber bracket. I don't think this is really necessary. I see a lot of guys do brake jobs with just putting the pads back in dry, but I've always done it this way, so I stick with it. All right, both the new pads are in. Now what? Other place I like to apply some grease is right here. Oh, you can see they, they still didn't go 100% even. This one's a little lower than that one. Hopefully it goes on over both of these pads okay. If not, I'll have to compress it a little bit more. But I add a little bit of grease here, a little bit of grease here, and then right here, right here, and right here. That's all where it makes contact. I think it helps with you know squeals and stuff like that. All right, 
right, so now it's time to put the caliber back on. You probably got to push these in a little bit. Sometimes air gets in there. And so it makes them stick out a little bit. You just push it and kind of lift up the seal on the side. It'll let them compress. You can tighten this back up to the proper torque spec or just get it about as tight as it was we took it off and that's what I do. And that's it guys. I'll just repeat the same process on the other side. There's really nothing to this job. Doing brakes is pretty easy. If you're capable of changing your own oil, I would say you're probably capable of doing your own brakes. You know, make sure you tighten all this back up. Do everything the same on the other side. Um, and then don't forget when you're done to put your reservoir cap back on. That's after you do both sides. And you can see, see I, I compressed that caliber and the fluid level came up some. And then when I do the other side, this fluid's gonna come up a little bit higher. It's probably gonna be pretty close to the max. If it's above the max, I might have to take some out. We'll see. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. I'll catch you on the next one.